All right, we're going to keep going with solving systems of linear equations using the elimination method. And here we have a challenge and then a real world connection problem to work through. I encourage you to pause this video, try it on your own, and then unpause, check back in, follow along, see how you did. So um, our first challenge problem on the left here is the sum of the digits of a two di digit number is nine. And if you were to swap the digits, the new two digit number would increase in value by 45. So what's the original two digit number? All right, so let's define our variables, and we're going to write out a number. Um, I don't, let, let's, let, let's write out that number, for example. And so we have two separate digits. We have a two and we have a seven. And those, the, those two separate digits do add up to nine, um, but the value of the number as a whole is 27. Okay, so let's have, when we define our variables, let's let x be the tens digit. And let's let y be the unit digit, the ones digit. So I think we can see from our first statement that x plus y has to be has to be nine. Okay, we're just adding the two digits together. But that doesn't mean that the value of the number x y when we write it out as a two digit number is nine. That 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 is probably going to be well, nine's a one digit number, right? So um, x, y is going to be some other two-digit number. Um, if we were to swap the digits, the new two-digit number is, has a larger value. So one thing you can think about when we're doing problems like this is what is 10x plus y equal to? x is in the tens place, so the actual numerical value that it represents is 10 times whatever the digit is. y is in the, in the unit place, in the ones digit place, so its numerical value is just itself. So 10x plus y is, and we're, we need to think about if we were to swap the digits, how does it compare to 10y plus x? So this, is, this represents the swapped, the swapped digits, okay? And one of them is 45 larger. The second one is 45 larger. So that means that this is plus 45. We have to add 45 to the, to the first arrangement to get our new arrangement. All right, so let's go ahead and simplify um, this, this second equation. And I'd like to get all the variables on the left and that 45 onto the right. Okay, so I'm gonna subtract 10. I need to be careful here, making sure I'm, I'm doing everything correctly. Let's subtract 10y and let's also subtract x from both sides. And I'll deal with the 45 later in a second step. So we have a 9x minus 9y plus 45 equals 0, because these guys all cancel. So that means that 9x minus 9y equals negative 45. Okay, so I have, I have my two main equations x plus y equals 9, and then the 9x minus 9y is negative 45. Let's take this first equation and multiply through by 9. And I'm going to rewrite it down below my second equation. So this turns into a 9x plus 9y equals 81. And do you, see what I, do you see why I did that? I hope you can see that we have things set up now for nice for elimination, where the y's will eliminate. So we can add these two equations together. We get an 18x equals 36, because these this y term eliminated. So that looks nice. x is equal to 2. And I'm starting to wonder that maybe the random example I picked out of thin air at the very beginning of solving this when I talked about the number 27, maybe that's going to be my answer. If x is 2, y has to be 7, right? So I kind of guessed it to begin with. So that means my original number is 27. And so let's, another way to check it is let's compare 27 versus 72, right? That's the swapped, that's the number with the swapped digits. And is 72 45 larger than 27? It is, it, che it checks out. So here's my answer going to be 27. Got lucky on that one, right, at the beginning. Okay, next one, the, um, the real world connection problem. My advisory at school ran a fundraiser for a couple days last year. And on the first day, they sold 32 raffle tickets 
and 18 pump personal pumpkin pies and they made $145. And the second day, it looks like they increased their sales quite a bit and they made $267. So how much was each item? So as always, we look for the question mark. That's the question mark right here. That's gonna help us define our variables. So let's let R equal cost of a raffle ticket because that's what we don't know. And we have another variable. Let's let P equals cost of a personal pumpkin pie. Personal pumpkin pie, okay. Okay, super. So we can just rewrite these guys, re rewrite the, the word problem, the scenario into mathematics. So on the first day, we have 32R plus 18P, we ended up with $145 in revenue. And the second day, we have 55R plus 35P is 267.50 in revenue. Okay, I'm looking ahead. I can tell we're gonna have some big numbers to deal with and that's okay. Let's pull out your calculator, settle in and get ready. So we wanna, we wanna eliminate and 32 and 55, 18 and 35 don't have any easy common factors. So let's just go big here and multiply this through by 55 and multiply this through by 32. Actually, how about a negative 32? Okay, and let's, let's see what we end up with. So the first equation is going to turn, and sometimes when we're solving systems, we like to keep things organizing, organized by numbering our equations. And I'm just going to number them as one and two, and then um, try to keep things organized that way. So 55 times 32, this the first equation turns into 1760R plus 990P equals 79.75. So that's just sort of a scaled up version of my first equation. Second equation turns into a negative 1760R, so you can see why we did that multiplication. We're gonna have some canceling out. Negative 1120P, and then times 32, a negative 8560. So let's add them together right now. We'll eliminate the R's and um, hopefully we'll get closer to, to an answer here. So the P terms turn into a negative 130 P equals negative 585. Okay, I think we're getting close. We can go ahead and divide by this negative 130 on both sides. And we end up with a P is equal to 4.5, so $4.50. So that's, that's nice to keep track of, that's good. It's a reasonable cost for a personal pumpkin pie. And we can take that and plug it into any of my equations anywhere. I'm gonna take it, plug it into the first equation. So 32R plus 18 times 450 equals 145. I'm gonna multiply and subtract that 18 times 450 from both sides. I'm gonna do that in one step. So we get a 32R equals 64. So I, just to be clear, I, I subtracted that stuff from both sides. And R is two. Looks like raffle tickets were two, $2. Cool, so those numbers seem to make real world sense. So I'm gonna leave it there. That's a good place to stop.